The American Kennel Club recognizes 195 dog breeds. The French equivalent, the Fédération Cynologique Internationale, recognizes 360. France has more dogs. Look, it's safe to say that no matter whose guidelines you follow, there are lots of dogs in the world, and that's just dogs. There are anywhere from 40 to 70 breeds of cat, depending on who you ask. There are more than 3,000 species of snake and more than 14,000 kinds of ants. And while the vast majority of these different breeds and species are kind of mundane, there's always a few standouts, a few extraordinary unusual ones, which we never see even oh, when they're more common cousins are hanging around us all the time. So let's look at 10 of them, shall we? <laughs> Number 10. The Manx Lotum sheep have multiple horns. If you're not up to speed on the wool or lamb industries, it's forgivable to not be all that well versed in sheep variants, but all the same, shame on you. Most of us know sheep and maybe longhorn sheep, but it turns out there are actually over 200 breeds of sheep in the world. Of all the breeds out there, few make as much of a visual impact as the Manx Lotum sheep. You can find these guys on the Isle of Man. The breed nearly went extinct in the 1950s, but breeders have managed to build those numbers back up somewhat. Full-grown ewes weigh around 40 kilograms or about 88 pounds, while rams get up to 55 kilograms, that's 121 pounds. That's about half the size of some of the larger sheep breeds. The most significant feature of a Manx Lotion is, of course, the horns. Unlike most sheep where the females have no horns at all and the rams might have a pair of curled horns, the Lotion breed typically all have four horns. Some may only have two, but some may have as many as six, and they stick out fairly dramatically like a crab from their heads. Number nine, Karai camels thrive in the water. Most people are aware there are a couple of kind of camels, the most famous being the dromedary and the Bactrian. But those are species of camels, and there are still breeds among them. There are nine breeds of dromedary camels recognized in India, and one of those is the Karai camel. While we typically associate camels with dry deserts, there's nothing about the animal specifically that demands arid climates. They just adapt to them pretty good. The Karai is the exact opposite of those desert dwellers as it's chiefly known for being highly aquatic. They'll swim as far as 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles to find suitable mangroves for grazing. They feed on mangrove and other plants that grow near the salt water in which they swim, and their numbers are fairly small. In 2010, it's estimated there were 10,000 of the camels. That was down to 4,500 by 2020 thanks to habitat loss. Number 8. Danish protest pigs were bred to protest Prussian rule. Americans eat over 66 pounds of pork per capita per year. If you don't eat 70 pounds per pork per year, someone's picking up the slack for you, so you should definitely eat more pig. It's the most widely consumed meat in the world, and we produce tens of millions of tons of it globally every year. Though few breeds are used for meat, there are apparently as many as 500 different breeds out there. Undoubtedly, many of those breeds are quirky and unique, but only the Danish protest pig exists as a political statement. These little white-banded pigs were bred specifically to resemble the Danish flag as a snub against the Prussians during a border dispute. After two wars, the Prussians took over the disputed lands and were quick to squash anything remotely Danish, and that included the Danish flag. But the land they took over was full of Danish people, so to protest the new rule, banning their own identity, they bred their own walking, snorting little flags in the form of the Danish protest pig, whose markings feature a clear white banding on an orange background. Admittedly, the pigs don't look very much like the Danish flag, which is red with the white cross set towards the left side. But hey, it's a living pig. They did their best. Number seven, I am Somali chickens are black inside and out. Estimates suggest that there are 25.9 billion chickens in the world right now. That's a lot of clucking. Over 600 breeds of chicken are recognized worldwide, with some of them looking remarkably exotic and beautiful. But the I am Somali chicken may take the prize for being the most truly unusual chicken. And if we're being honest, just one of the strangest creatures in the world. Full stop. Thanks to a very unusual mutation, the I'm Somali breed is black through and through. Black eyes, black claws, black skin, black feathers, black heart like yours. Even its tongue is black. But if that's not dramatic enough, you can go even deeper. The bones of the chicken are black and so is its delicious flesh. The chickens come from Indonesia and demonstrate something called dermal hyperpigmentation as a result of fibromelanosis. 
It's a hell of a sentence. Along with three other breeds of chickens that also have pigmented flesh, the mutation that links them seems to come from one single chicken that probably lived thousands of years ago, the common dusky ancestor. Number six, the blue Calamintha bee is an extremely rare blue bee. Along with the buzzing sound, the most easily recognizable feature of any bee is its black and yellow striping. The blue Calamintha really marches the bee to its own buzzing drum, though, and is actually blue in color instead of the traditional black and yellow. While that sounds a little surprising, it's worth noting that there are over 20,000 species of bees in the world, and 4,000 of them can be found in the United States alone. It seems like at least one of them should have evolved a more fun color scheme, and well, here you go. The little cerulean insects were only discovered in 2011 and were actually thought to have vanished in 2016. They only feed on a rare plant found in Florida, so the habitat is not exactly widespread. But in 2021, a new nest of them was discovered, raising hopes that there was a chance for the species to still thrive. It's the one thing we need, the blue bees. They discovered that the bees also have a secondary food source, slightly improving their chances for survival. Number five, big fin squid were first recorded on camera in 2020. Look, if you're a fan of seafood, why wouldn't you be? You've probably given calamari a try at least once, or if you like it, you've consumed pounds and kilograms of the stuff. While it's nowhere near as popular as tuna or lobster, it's still featured a lot of an Asian cuisine and also holds its own as a deep fried bar food alongside things like popcorn shrimp. And it's also the fifth largest fishery industry by weight in the United States, though most of it gets exported. A number of squid are caught for food like the Japanese flying squid or the Argentine short fin, but when it comes down to unusual squid, you can count on the ocean to hold some remarkable secrets. For instance, the big fin squid is actually very small in the body. One description likens them to hot dog buns, but those buns have fins and it makes them look twice as wide as they are long, so... Not really like a hot dog bun at all. And more noticeable is that they can drag filaments behind them that grow as much as seven meters, which is exactly like a hot dog. The living squid were recorded for the first time in 2020. Only three sightings in the Southern Hemisphere had been reported before that. Number four, lion-tailed macaques really look like lions. There are 160 species of old world monkeys and 174 new world monkeys in the world alongside the apes and other primates, which also often are mistaken for monkeys. Only a handful of species are really widely known. One that is often overlooked is the lion-tailed macaque, a monkey that doesn't just look like a lion from the back, but from the front as well. They have non-prehensile tails with a tuft on the end, hence their name, but they also sport impressive manes around their heads like male lions do. Uh, their numbers in the wild are very low, but they do seem to take well to captive breeding. The result is that there's now about 500 of them in the world, thanks to breeding programs in zoos. Number three, conic horses were bred by the Nazis. Like most other animals, there is an absolute plethora of horse breeds in the world. Based on one study, that number is up at around 784. Horses were not the first animal we domesticated, but they were clearly one of the most important, thanks to their use in things like farming, travel, and of course, war. And as we've bred horses across the generations to serve those purposes, one of the most unusual horse breeds ever came to be the conic horse. Conic horses don't necessarily look weird, but their history is. A descendant of the Tarpan, a wild ancestor of the modern horse that died out in Neolithic times, the conic was bred by the Nazis in an effort to recreate a sort of prehistoric paradise. How many animals? can say that. The Nazis wanted to reintroduce extinct species like the Tarpon and the Aurochs as a strange parallel to their own beliefs about racial purity. Yes, I'm also wondering how they got there. They stole many of them from Poland and started trying their own breeding program. The war squashed those plans though, but the breed did manage to survive in Poland. Number two, tentacled snakes have snout tentacles. For all the species of snakes that exist in the world, from the smallest little garden snakes to the massive pythons and anacondas that could swallow you whole, unless you're very, very fat. Their basic features are all pretty much the same and the species is pretty easy to recognize. They're basically heads with tails. So it's not like a snake has a lot of room for variation beyond size, color, and pattern. But that doesn't mean there's no room, and there is one kind of snake that noticeably stands out from the pack. The tentacled snake has two finger-like projections that extend from its snout. The snakes live almost exclusively in the water and are actually somewhat helpless on land. In the natural habitat, they can remain perfectly stiff and still, which, thanks to their shape and coloration, makes them look like branches in the water. The tentacles on the face can be manipulated like an octopus or other creature might use them to feel around, but they are also full of dense nerve clusters. This allows the snake to use them to essentially 
sea, even in the murkiest of water, using signals gleaned from the tentacles to map out the area around them and find prey. And speaking of, the tentacled snake is highly adept at catching fish thanks to the fact that it's evolved to understand fish instincts. The snake is able to position its tail in a way that makes it seem like a threat, twisting its body into a question mark such that oh, when its tail strikes a fish, the creature will flee in a predictable direction, oh, which is where the snake's mouth is. <laughs> kind of terrifying. It makes its prey run because it's already waiting along its escape path. Number 1. The Double-Nosed Andean Tiger Hounds We mentioned at the start that there are up to 360 recognized dog breeds in the world, depending on whose breed list you refer to. But, by any accounts, one of the most unusual dogs in the world is the Double-Nosed Andean Tiger Hounds. It's a dog with two noses. There are actually a couple of breeds in the world that have this unusual nose or something similar, like the Tarsus Forknose Dog, for instance. Instance. The Andean tiger hounds native to regions in South America like Bolivia is arguably the most famous of these curiously snouted beasts, though they aren't generally recognized as a breed by the AKC, for instance. If the dogs breed with single snouted dogs, then the pups can turn out either way. It's thought that maybe they've evolved from hunting dogs brought over from conquistadors uh, that also had double noses. 